Hello, my name is Tomas and I'm a rising senior at the Academy of Charters and my project was an omnidirectional robot. And for this, for the second milestone, this is um, able to use the PS2 controller thumb pad input to move the robot in any direction that the thumb pad is put. And then also for rotation based on the right analog stick. And so what that is is that the Arduino reads um, the left analog stick input as two different values, one X value and then one Y value. And so just with trigonometry, you can just use those values um, to just calculate the angle that you need to move in. And then based on that angle, you use the um, cosine function to then tell the motor, th to then tell the Arduino what power the motors need to do. And then also you can just use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the degree that the analog stick is pushed, like the difference of that or that. And that will tell it how much, or how much power to give to the motors. Um, so yeah, that was probably the hardest part of this, just getting all the trigonometry to work together. Um, that rotation was pretty easy. Um, the only problem was, was that the Arduino doesn't understand left and right based on the analog stick. Um, and so instead I had to use up and down, so that's just turn right, that's turn left, so just a slight modification. And so now I'm going to show you a little bit of the motion. So as you can see, it has some pretty smooth motion overall, and the linear problem from the first milestone, that was fixed um, by fixing two different errors. The first one was that this motor, it was actually mounted half an inch to the side, and so to fix that, you just had to alter the coating a little bit so that it had a little bit more power than the other two at certain times. And then the other problem was that instead of using the servo.write function, I use the servo dot right microseconds, and the difference that that makes is that allows for a much finer uh, or much more precise input value. So instead of it just being like um, like the dot right function, it only has an input value of 181, but the right microseconds has a has a thousand and one input values, and that just allows for a lot more precise control. So while um, so that way the motors just were more were much more cohesive in their movement. And so what's next, we're going to take a prefabricated robot arm and we're going to put it on top and look it to, link it to the Arduino and have it be controlled via the PS2 controller.